What difference has all this row made to this tour, do you think? Any at all? Paul? Um, I don't think it's made much difference. It's made it more hectic. It's made all the press conferences mean a bit more. People said to us, you know, last time we came, all our answers were a bit flippant. And they said, why isn't it this time? Well, the thing is, the questions are a bit more serious this time. It hasn't affected any of the bookings. The bookings have been, uh, I mean, the, the people coming to the concerts have been the same, except for the first show in Memphis, which was a bit down, you know, but uh, so what? The disc jockey, Tommy Charles, who started this row off, has said that he won't play your records until you've grown up a little. How do you feel about that? Well, I don't mind if he never plays them again. You see, this is the thing, you know, everyone seems to think that when they hear us say things like this, that we're so childish, you know, I mean, you can't say things like that unless you're a silly little child. But and if he was grown up, he wouldn't have done the thing, because he only did it for a stunt anyway. So, I mean, who's he to say about growing up? Who is he? Who is this guy? Who is he? Who? Apart from that, it's great. Having a swinging tour? Do you feel that Americans are out to get you, that this is all developing into something of a witch hunt? No, we thought it might be that kind of thing. I think a lot of people in England did, because there's this thing about, you know, when America gets violent, gets very hung up on a thing, it tends to have this sort of Ku Klux Klan thing around it. It seems to me you've always been successful because you've been outspoken and direct and forthright and all this sort of thing. Does it seem a bit hard to you that uh, people are now knocking you for this very thing? It yes, Richard. It seems very it hard. It seems hard. It seems hard. It, you know, free speech. But is it possible just to say what you think all the time? What about 14-year-old teenagers who think you're absolutely marvellous and can't well, bear to be hurt? You see, we're, we're not, when we say anything like that, we don't say it uh, as a, uh, older people seem to think uh, to be offensive. We mean it helpfully, you know, and if it's wrong what we say, okay, it's wrong and people can say, you know, you're wrong about that one. But in many cases, we believe it's right, you know, we're quite serious about it. But w do you mind being asked questions, for example, in America, people keep asking you questions about Vietnam. Does this seem useful? Well, I don't know, you know, if you can say that war's no good and a few people believe you, then it may be good, I don't know. You can't say it too much, though, that's the trouble. It seems a bit silly to be in America and for none of them to mention Vietnam as if nothing was happening. But why should they ask you about it? Your success yeah, is entertaining. That is why the thing. Yeah. Because yeah. Americans always ask uh, yeah. showbiz people what they think about this. So do the British, you know. Showbiz, you know how it is. But I mean, you've just got to, you can't just keep quiet about anything that's going on in the world unless you're a monk. Sorry, monks, I didn't mean it. I meant actually. <laughs> It doesn't matter about people not liking our records or not liking the way they look or what we say. You know, they're entitled to not like us and we're entitled not to have anything to do with them if we don't want to or not to regard them. You know, we've all got our rights, you know. Adults, 